Do you guys remember when Cartoon Network had that Spot the Block ad campaign? I hope you guys do because we made a Media Mementos video about it. And guess what? It's not the only time that Cartoon Network had their foray with food. In fact, one of their biggest food-related escapades was connected to one of the most famous food companies in the United States, Kellogg's. That's right, Kellogg's, the cereal company. Cartoon Network made a deal with them to make some cartoon cartoon-themed cereals. How many? Well, one specifically, but they had an idea for, oh, I don't know, every cartoon cartoon that was currently airing? I'm not kidding either. The images you see on your screen right now are entirely real. All the cartoon cartoons at the time had them. Dexter's Lab, Ed and Eddie, Cow and Chicken, Mike, Lou, and Og. Mike, Lou, and Og! The running joke is back, guys! And each one had their own unique style, and I say that pretty loosely. We had some that were rather interesting, like say Ed and Eddie's Jawbreaker cereal, which was basically puffs with some crunchy bits, or Dexter's Lab, which had the ability to change colors when poured in milk. Then we had some bland ones, no pun intended, like Cow and Chicken's Ultimate Generic Cereal. I mean, look at this thing. Doesn't even taste like raw meat. Cow and Chicken would be very disappointed. Then we had some weird ones like Mike, Lou, and Og, which was chocolate and coconut. I don't really see that mixing well in a cereal, but that's just me. I've never had a coconut cereal because I don't really eat cereal at all. Obviously, the inclusion of some of these were just promotional stunts. I mean, who thought that Mike, Lou, and Og was going to beat something like Dexter's Lab or the Powerpuff Girls? If there's an alternate reality where that happened, I don't want to live in it. I don't even want to know about it. And it's also evident which cartoons were popular at the time. The ones that had more interesting gimmicks like Powerpuff Girls, Ed and Eddie, or Dexter's Lab, they were the more popular ones, meanwhile the ones that had the lame gimmicks or the weird ones or no gimmick at all were the ones that weren't as big. The only exception I can really find here is Johnny Bravo because let's face it, Johnny Bravo is Johnny Bravo for a reason. It's Johnny Bravo. And I can kinda see where they're coming from making the cereal bigger, but that's kinda lame. All you really gotta do is buy a box of Frosted Flakes and eat two at a time and bam, there you go. Now I bet a lot of you out there are wondering, how come I've never seen any of these on the grocery store aisle before? Well, that's because not all of these were supposed to exist. People were supposed to go online and choose their favorite cereal. Whichever cereal won the popularity contest would be produced into an actual, bona fide, real legitimate item by none other than General Mills. Oh wait, no, that's Kellogg's. My bad. I and a lot of people think that this was a pretty dumb idea. Not having people vote on the cereal, that's a cool idea. However, how do you know which one you're gonna like best if you can't taste any of them? Sure, some of them sound better than others, but who knows? Maybe the Ed and Eddie one tasted like sulfur and the Mike Lou and Og one was actually the best. Maybe Cow and Chicken's puffed corn or Johnny Bravo's giant flakes were somehow the best of them all. We never would have known because we never got to taste any of them. There were also these stickers that were planned to be released in the boxes of Kellogg's cereals in order to promote the campaign. Basically, they're like bumper stickers for your favorite political candidate, saying, hey, Vote for the Ed and Eddie cereal. I don't know about you guys, but that's a political cause I can really get behind. At the end of the vote, it was all said and done, and surprise, surprise, Dexter's Lab ended up winning. I think a lot of people would have thought that the Powerpuff Girls would have won, and a lot of people still do to this day, but that's actually not true. That show got a cereal that was completely unrelated to the Kellogg's contest. And to be honest, yeah, Dexter's Lab had the coolest gimmick. I mean, it changes color when you pour the milk in. That's pretty neat especially for a kid. So obviously once Dexter's Lab won, they rushed the cereal right into production, right? Wrong, wrong, wrong. The cereal never made it to store shelves. Instead, we got a Scooby-Doo cereal. Because Scooby-Doo is the same thing as Dexter's Lab, right? The whole promotion just kind of fell through. We don't have a lot of details as to why, but we do know that it was going to be a lot bigger than it actually was. I don't really know if the Dexter's Lab cereal would have been a success, and I definitely don't think it would have been a permanent thing. It most certainly would have been a limited run release only, if that. But it just goes to show you that Cartoon Network has really bad luck with food. It's like they're cursed or something. I don't know what it is, but at least the two things I've looked at, not so good. And if there's some other Cartoon Network food-related thing that went horribly wrong in the future, please let me know because I would definitely like to check that out. It almost seems like it'd be a little bit of a side thing here on Media Mementos, kind of like weird British advertisements, character quests versus the network, and look at my feet.
Oh wait, that one uh, got cancelled. For obvious reasons, I don't want a foot wiki page. So yeah, Cartoon Network had this big deal with Kellogg's that was all set to go somewhere, only for it to go anywhere but. Maybe if they conducted themselves a little differently, like letting people try the cereals, having there be a lot more diversity when it comes to interesting gimmicks, and not having Mike Lou and Og in there, maybe they would have been a success. Who knows? But as it stands, Cartoon Network's deal with Kellogg's? Yeah, that didn't really work out, now did it? Well folks, thanks for watching the video. What'd you guys think? Did you ever hear about this promotion? What cereal would you have voted for? Comment below and let me know because I'm always excited to hear what you guys have to say. Real quick, I'd like to thank our Patreon executive producers, Reziel, Leaf Razor, Sophie Burgers, Azarius, and Tanner Kapishki. If you two would like your name read at the end of every Media Mementos video, then consider donating to our Patreon, which has a link in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!